Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's find out how to find the Laplace transform of the second derivative. And just as a reference, we put on the Laplace transform of the first derivative right here in the corner. That's the equation for the first derivative. So how do we find the second derivative? Well, we kind of work backwards using the equation of the first derivative. Because what we can do here is we can make this double prime and then this single prime and this single prime. So that's kind of the, the technique we're going to use. So this can now be written as follows. This is equal to S times the Laplace transform of the first derivative of the function of T minus the first derivative evaluated at zero. So because what we can say here is imagine that the second derivative is actually the first derivative. Then it becomes F minus the function evaluated at zero. But if you make it the second derivative, then this will become the first derivative. And that becomes the first derivative. And then we realize that this can be written as follows as that. So now we can write this as S times the first, the Laplace transform of the first derivative is written as follows. So this becomes S times the Laplace transform of the function of T minus the function evaluated at zero. So this thing here is replaced by this minus F prime of zero. Now all we have to do is multiply the S with the terms inside here. So this becomes S squared times the Laplace transform of the function of T minus S times the function evaluated at zero minus the first derivative of the function evaluated at zero. And this then becomes the equation that we use to find the Laplace transform of the second derivative of a function. And there it is. Now we'll show you an example of how this is actually applied, but you can see now that this is fairly straightforward. And also we'll show you how to find the Laplace transform of the third derivative and so forth. We simply continue using that same technique. And that's how it's done.